So my youngest daughter is turning 15 and we're throwing a quinceanera for her. And I am huge on special events. I mean, what's more important than for her to know that she celebrated for existing? Pretty is coming store I've ever been to, but so expensive. I want her to feel loved and I wanted to be the party of her dreams. So we're looking for fabric for my oldest daughter and for her friend. I don't know if you've ever been to a quinceañera, but usually there's 15 girls, 15 boys. They're all dressed matching and they do a dance. So we're not going to have that. She only has two girls, but still. They want matching dresses. And today, it's a day of trying to squeeze all the things in that we can. I'm also doing the flowers and the decorations and everything. But um, of course, we gotta make a pit stop and fill our bellies. <laughs> And we're in Miami, so Miami's known for its Cuban food, Latin vibe. It's actually the perfect place to have a quinceañera because we are mutts and our vibe is mixed from all different cultures and Miami is the perfect place for that. So now we're gonna go buy flowers and because we're doing everything ourselves, um, we decided to go with silk flowers that way we didn't have anything last minute. I love her so much. It's rare to find good deals in Miami. You know, it feels so good to do this as a family. I'm here with my sister. And of course my other daughter as well. And we're creating everything together. It's a family affair and it feels a little bit more special to me because of that. As we make her dreams into reality. Good morning sunshine. We're in full quince mode. We have flowers, we have flowers, we have tons of things for our decorations. And I'm about to start sewing. Now I know it's been a lot of weeks since I last posted. I've been dealing with a lot of health issues. It's same old same old. When I get to Miami, my health deteriorates and then it takes me a while to get it back in balance. I'm feeling mediocre right now. But I'm not feeling terrible, so that's good. Because <laughs> I want to feel good for my daughter's quince. She's turning 15 and that only happens once in a lifetime. And I got sick for my other daughter's quince and we couldn't have that one. So I didn't want that to repeat itself. So I've been taking good care of myself and hopefully this video makes it out to you. <laughs> because I feel so good that I'm able to edit, crossing my fingers. And thank you for your patience. <laughs> because I know that some of you will ask, Yes, I am very swollen. It's part of the issue. It's part of my disease and I'm gonna be okay. Bit of a recap. I don't know if you remember, we were staying at my sister's and her house was under construction. So over there still is. You can probably hear the noise. But luckily the party's gonna be here. So we started working on like her yard like three weeks ago because we had to late sod. All of this was black dirt. We had to lay sod. I know. It's a work in progress. That's why things are still falling. <laughs> well, we have all these beautiful plants. We pressure clean the floor. That's a new tree. And then I've started to set up the seating and where the buffet area is going to be. Uh, we're doing everything ourselves. So we're splitting the cooking between my mom, me. I'm making the cake. I made the flowers. The decor is a joint effort. Her dad put up, um, I don't know if you can see that, probably not during the nighttime, I mean the daytime, but uh, we hung string lights. 
he moved all the plants. Could we have outsourced it? Probably, but I do feel like parties, in my opinion, are about the family and the prep work is part of it. I feel like we've worked together and everything starts blooming to make this extraordinary event that hopefully by the end of the video you get to see. Most of these things we got at thrift shops. Some of them we had. I pretty much went to everybody's house and picked the items that matched the decor, barred everybody's chairs and uh, tables and things like that. And that's how we're gonna make it work. These also are mostly from thrift shops. I did purchase a few of them that I couldn't find. I would say the theme is like garden party. So that's where we're getting the colors and I think she represents what the party is. But you can think she's weird or you can think she's perfect. It really depends on your style, you know? But now I'm sewing dresses. Some days I can't see, some days I can't. Threading a little so hard. <laughs> when I'm sick. I like my eyesight. I would like to keep it. But when I'm sore, I cannot. So I was up all night, but I got a lot done, and they're almost finished. One of the zippers broke, but aside from that, I think I'm almost done. You want to see? Daughter really wanted blue and yellow. But she specifically wanted it to be kind of see-through. So that's why we chose the skin tone underneath and the brightly colored tool over it. So that way it wouldn't be so bright. Their kings is gonna be all pastels. Now today I have some baking to do and I'm picking up some things from Facebook Marketplace. some Facebook Marketplace things. Good morning, sunshine. Still a lot of construction happening. So there's gonna be a lot of driving today. I'll probably skip that for you guys. And so we'll see you on the other side. So lucky. I got this beautiful piece. This cute little set. My sister had this one that matches perfectly, so. <laughs> We're gonna mix them up, but look how cute that is. I go perfect with those that are pink. This umbrella that has the three colors and we put fringe on it. We open it for you. Ain't it cute? I'm so excited. Today's the day. Hard to believe. It's hard to explain what this moment feels like. I don't think you can imagine it as you have children. To see them grow really is emotional. 
and it's hard not to get choked up. And as the song says, there's nothing that I wish more than for them to always know how much I love them. <laughs> I never want there to be a moment that they don't feel loved. And of course, what is a quince without the food and the dancing and the celebrating and the catching up with family that came from so far away to spend this moment with us. You know, it's hard when you full-time travel to stay in touch with family regularly, so moments like this a little extra special. That's my mom. <laughs> Getting ready for the toast. Well, first of all, I'm so grateful that you were given to me by the universe. You are an amazing human being. So kind and thoughtful and always willing to there for us <laughs> and you're really always part of the team so I am so grateful to you <laughs> I love you so 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 much and I hope that this birthday has been everything that you dreamed of and thank you for letting me be your mom Aww. cheers And there she is. Each candle was lit by a person that made a wish for her, for her life and well being. Like fairy godmothers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Akira. Happy birthday. It was magical. And part of me wishes that it would have lasted longer so I could still be there, <laughs> enjoying every moment. Things like this seem to fly by. But I'm so grateful to have spent time with every single person that came to the party. And I'm glad that she felt loved. And I'm glad we could be there like a family. With so many people I love. I couldn't have asked for anything more. It was truly the perfect experience. And more importantly, I was able to be in the moment. Nothing was more important than her and her day. So thanks to everybody that actually captured footage for me. So I'm able to share it with you guys. And thank you guys for sharing this birthday with me as my guest. I love you. Bye.